Um, I'm going to draw the right side of her heart. So we come in through the right jugular vein that connects to the cranial vena cava. So we connect to the right side of her heart. We go into her right atrium, right ventricle, and that comes out into the pulmonary artery. So use this wire, kind of make this curve. Her valve is right here. So we use wires, mm -hmm. followed by a catheter with a big sheath to advance across this valve. That sheath, what it allows us to do is to put a stent through the um, inside of that sheath, and then we'll be able to line up the stent. And I still have to measure the, the stent size that she'll get, mm -hmm. but most Frenchies get the same size. They all have pretty much the same size heart. <laughs> but we'll be able to inflate a stent up against this valve to open it up all the way. Okay. So it'll use a balloon to inflate it, and then she'll have a stent right here. And we will use both the transesophageal echo, as long as she does okay with it, as well as um, pleuroscopy. So we'll use real-time x-ray to make sure that the stent is in an appropriate position. And we can adjust things slightly afterwards as well. Okay. Is the wire kind of so you can guide it better? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the wire is... To me, I think of it as kind of like a train track. Mm -hmm. So that once once the wire is out into her lungs, then we can advance catheters in the sheets over the wire. Okay. To just kind of like as a railroad track to get out to the right spot. Okay, perfect. Um, and then when she's done, we take um, the catheter out. We put a little neck wrap on there just because the sheets she'll have is decent size. Mm -hmm. um, just so that she doesn't have any bleeding around the site. And then, if all goes well, she'll be going home on Thursday morning. Okay, okay great. Yeah, we'll take x-rays that morning to make sure the stent looks good. We kind of stopped.